All right, all right. Welcome back. We've been plotting a lot of two-dimensional graphs right now, very traditional X and Y. We're going to shift the series now to plotting different types of graphs. And we're going to start off with the histogram, okay? Very easy plot to do. Let's do CLC, clear bars, and close all to free up all of our space right now. I'm going to plot some random variables. X equals rand, 1 to 100. This is going to give us a 1 by 100 array of random values between 0 and 1. The rand function is in charge of giving us these random values. From there, we simply just call histogram and give it the argument x. We're going to pass these random values in, and we'll see what the histogram looks like. MATLAB automatically gives us the bounds for these boxes. It's going from 0 to 0 0.2, and then to 0.4 to 0.6, and we can see, yeah, relatively random, but oddly enough, we have some 25 of the values in this first fifth of the graph. If you want to specify the number of bins, let's just say we want two bins here, you just add that as the second argument, and now we have two bins, and we can see that, yep, 49 were to the left of 0.5, and 51 were to the right of 0.5. Kind of what you'd expect, but every time we run this, we'll get something, oh, this one's exactly 50-50, kind of cool. Oh, this one's a good split. Here we see we have 44 and 56. So all 100 values are being stored in a bin based on the value, and we're telling MATLAB to use just two bins. Of course, you can split this into do larger bins and get a better of idea of the distribution every time. From here, we can use every single other thing we've learned, okay? You can replace plot commands with these histogram commands, and then do all this other stuff, all the titles you wanna add, all the X labels, the Y labels, right, anything you wanna do you can now add this. It's super flexible. And this is the best part, I feel, about MATLAB's plotting, is that it is so modular. You can do so much with these guys once you've learned all the basics. That's all I'm going to cover for histograms. In the next video, we're going to talk about bar charts. See you there.